Botanic Garden since there are a lot of changes that I have been done and because of the bugs, the snails, the slugs and then the insects that eats and, uh, and ruin the my my plants oh, I did a garden update and then this is my new siblings this is the squash these are the squash these uh, four or uh, three these three are the squash and then these are this is seven of them. These are the beans, the long straight beans. And then I pretty place a I place a eggshells because to uh, to prevent these nails and then the slugs to get in here. And then supposed to add this was the area this, this was the area that I had my 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 squash my cucumber my buttercup squash and then my zucchini that's where that's the area where I plant them but sad to say the snails and the slugs they did really inhibit or they are really bad they did really kill my garden so I just removed all of them and tried to clean the area and this is where my carrots also they did destroy it too and, and maybe next I'm going to plant something here in this in this area and then I've got my okra these are my oak luckily they did not really destroy this one and then I did place some uh, some eggshells to prevent them from crawling and then eating the, the leaves to stem the, the okras also and then it's been it's been a week that it keeps raining here so look at what happened to this grass they're growing super bad Good. real bad so I need to clean this maybe tomorrow or this afternoon it's not, when it's not that hot and then this is my pepper my red pepper look at that they are really abundant with with the fruit last time I count these are 16 16 uh, red pe uh, green peppers here the peppers and then I've got this uh, this Cajun Cajun pepper. I'm hoping it will really grow more. And then I've got this hot pepper here. Right here. That's the hot pepper. And then I've got the tomato. This is really the old tomato, the slicing one. I did really a lot of pruning because pruning because it's just the bugs and the insects really destroy them. I don't know how to prevent them. I keep doing everything. Then what I just did is prone them and then this one. These are supposed to be the tomatoes where I have my uh, salsa tomato but the bugs, insects destroy them. So I did a new, I did really put a new seedlings though and I'm going to show it to you in that garden. Okay, so this is the other part. This is the raised bed, my raised bed garden. And then this is my calamansi. Look, I don't know what's happened with that leaves, but they still keeps thriving. I'm hoping they will not really die. And then this is my cantaloupe. Look, these are my cantaloupe. And I have fruit here, look. This is the only fruit I've got. And then I've got my papaya. That's my papaya. And then that's my pineapple. And those are my hot peppers. Again, I place the 
the eggshells here because of the snails and the slugs are killing my garden so that's, that's why I place it there then these are my tomatoes I got new sets of tomatoes then these are my serrano pepper and then that's my bell pepper these are these are the serrano peppers And then these are the sweet banana pepper and then my eggplant also and I be I keep harvesting fruit for my eggplant look what they did again look at that they destroyed again my pepper so I need to harvest this to here and then I've lost my strawberry because of I don't know what happened a bit too too hot. And then these are my grapes. The green and then the red grapes. And then I've got these are still my my blueberries, three different kinds of blueberries. And then these are my beans. And for because of it's too hot, that's why they're acting or growing like that. And then my plan is to get rid of all of this get rid of all of these beans here and clean it and then plant the new seedlings the bean seedlings then this is still my satsuma i don't know what happened to this also it's not really growing maybe it's because where i place it or i don't know and then this is the miracle plant plant <laughs> this i i did not really put any too much attention in this one because it was dying before and I don't really like it so what I did is I did just let it grow maybe I just let it die and uh, just sit, let it sit there and die because before there's no leaves and then the, the branches look at the branches it's dying so just when I checked yesterday ta -da! It has new life again, and I'm super glad that they're growing back. And now is we're going to the area where I have my milkwort and my watermelon. Look at my watermelon. Those are my watermelon. I've got several fruits here, and that's really good. I don't know if where's the other fruits, if they have, but I've got this big one here. Look, it's a big fruit, and I don't know when it will be ready. <laughs> so I just keep twisting this one so that the air, the area where it sits, the sun touches it. It's not really that bad when it will grow. I got several here. I just need to transfer this one. I don't want them to grow beyond that beyond that pole because that's the limitation of the area. So I'm just going to move it here. And I want them to grow back in that area. So those are the updates of my garden. Oh, oh, and oh, I have a banana too. <laughs> I forgot. I planted it in front of the house or in the front porch because the front porch is super, super dry. That it's if there's no life in the front porch, that's why I plant it there. So I will just update you again. About oh no, just a piece of advice. If you are making or if you have if you're making a garden a vegetable garden make sure you have those raised bed garden because uh, they are less uh, the the insects and the bugs they don't really go there most uh, often often and then also water them if it's really hot in your area or in your state or in your country water them every morning and every uh, every uh 
uh, every sense after uh, every morning and then after sunset and then give them some plant foods also and then also if you want to get rid of the snails and then the slugs just make sure also you have an, an eggshell crack them or smash them and then just place them surround your surround your plants and then they will not really go in there because I just don't know maybe that's that's it hurts their skin when they're going to crawl it because there's really a lot of edges of this craft and smash eggshells so that's it that's my update to my plants for I guess it's July 12th 12th day of July bye bye thank you for listening to me oh and don't forget to like if you like the if you liked what I just uploaded don't like don't forget to like and then comment if you have any suggestions or if you have if you want me to show something or do something or plan something and then subscribe also click that click that for a red button and as well as don't forget to ring the, the notification bell if you want to get updated with my channel bye bye thank you